how is it going viewers brad proprietor of barstool entertainment doing another skyrim video i recently did um a serpent's bluff readout video and realized that while recording i'd recorded several other areas because they are not too far from serpent's bluff in this case I am doing moldering runes, which can be a little difficult for even medium level characters like mine. As you saw in the intro, he got killed real quick because I was not using healing potions. But I digress. In this case, what I'll be showing you is a successful walkthrough of, of moldering runes. Moldering Runes is sort of the to the northwest of Serpent's Bluff Redoubt. It's not too far of a walk, and you'll encounter a vampire, two vampire thralls, or a vampire and a um, hellhound or whatever it is, if you have the Dawnstar add-on. So normally this runes does contain a vampire but not to a level it would sort of match your character if not be more powerful in this case learning from my previous um, failure I'm going to be switching to a bow trying to attack and then if the bad guys attack me I'm going to switch to a, a shield in this case, I'm still using a shield and dwarven armor and dwarven weapon tree, which I've actually improved since the recording of this video, but I digress. So I'm going to let things play out here. Okay, as my character sneaks up on the moldering runes and tries to engage in combat, in the distance you can see another, how shall I say, place on the map, which is very interesting. My character is now engaged in combat. Uh, vampires, Thrall, and... Oh, God, yeah. Two of them, and this is a... I'm going to switch to the sword, but I'm going to flip over to a shield to help out. And this is a death hound. Like I said, if you have the Dawn Star add on, you'll get a death hound. Another bit of advice in Skyrim, if you're playing a warrior character or a thief character, um, electrical damage, shock damage, or magic damage. Because you're always going to encounter magic wielding characters, or should I say villains, and destroying their ability to regenerate magic is always a good thing. Now we have moldering runes, and it's discovered. It looks like just a bunch of runes with a tent on it. There's this bad guy, a wolf. Ah, no big deal. Take him down. And let's take a look around the runes here. There's a camp, tent sites, stuff like that. You think, ah, this is just very simple, but in reality it isn't. I'm going to cast Candlelight and 
flip over to sword and shield. Now there's a bow which is useful, arrows, some potions and stuff. There is a I can't grab this one for some reason. There's a small chest with some gold and other things in it that are of some value, but then there is this trap door into the ruins. And let's let things play out. There's a master vampire hidden in these ruins. There will always be a vampire in these ruins. Depending on your character level, it can be a higher level vampire, like a master vampire, or it can just be a standard vampire. But moldering runes always has a vampire. Now, you look around, there's various Draugr and other things that you can loot. Not a lot until you get to the master chest, which is right over there but take a look around here there's nothing here and again there's the master vampire lying there but again it's places like Draugr, hanging moss you can basically like I said look around every nook and cranny and loot what you can like these burial urns have some gold. These Draugr will usually have some gold. And then, you know, over here, this one has some decent gold and stuff. Uh, you know, look around. This These runes actually contain more than you think. And if you don't investigate every possible nook and cranny, you're not going to end up finding everything you can. Now, again, candlelight, very essential. I mean, you can up the brightness, like over here, salt pile, burial urn, troll fat, stuff you can kind of sell off. But overall, yeah, there's... The barrels on top here, I don't think they usually contain anything. Let's go up this area. And yeah, there's another urn. Yeah. Like I said, you just got to investigate every nook and cranny of this smaller sort of, how shall I say, dungeon or rune. Because. There's stuff hidden all over the place. And once I get back to the master chest, there's these barrels here, but the master chest, there's an urn above it. 
And then the master chest has some decent stuff in it. A glass bowl. Yeah, wow. Very decent. Now I'm going to cast some more. Nothing around here. And this barrel, what does it have? Snowberries, very good. Good for alchemy. Meat, salt piles, again, very good. Then the master vampire is down here. Vampire dust, always good. Yeah, he had an orcish sword, which means, yeah. Anyway, look around. There's a lot here, and I've already investigated this area, but I'm now fast forward to getting out of here. And that is Moldering Ruins. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you like this video, hit the like button. Please leave some comments. I try and respond to all comments as long as they're not spam or indecent comments. If you like this type of video, I post four a week. So hit the subscribe button and bell icon and you will not miss out on any of the videos I post. They will be put into your home stream and you can watch them at your leisure. As always, thanks for stopping by.